Hi everyone, this is Oscar from Underdog, and today I want to give you a little tip on how to spice up your melodies to be a little bit less boring. So imagine you've got yourself a melody, which is basically just a monophonic sequence. It's a bunch of notes that all have the same length, and they're playing good notes, and it's all fine and well. Well, let me introduce you to the concept of ratcheting. Put very simply, ratcheting is just playing notes at faster speeds while maintaining the same overall sequence. So imagine all the notes in your sequence are eighth notes, like they were in the example. If you would ratchet a few of those notes, that would just mean you would divide the time of some of those notes into smaller portions. Not so complicated, right? But let me show you a workflow that makes it really fun to do. And the main concept I want you to hear about here is called the envelope loop. Now, if you remember from our basics on subtractive synthesis, what you've got in a synthesizer is basically a sound source, which goes into a filter, which goes into an amplifier. And both the filter and amplifier are governed, are managed by envelopes. And the envelope is just a curve that starts every time you hit a key on your keyboard. It opens up and closes. But what we are going to do today is we're going to take the envelope of the filter and we're going to set it into loop mode. And that just means that when you get to the end of that envelope, it's just going to start again. As long as you hold down the note itself, it's going to keep looping and seem like it's playing multiple notes because the filter envelope keeps opening up. And then playing with the length of that envelope gives you a parameter that's really, really fun to mess with, way more fun than just clicking in notes on the piano roll. Let me show you how it's done inside of Ableton. Before we go any further, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and consider signing up for one of our classes on www.underdog.brussels, or sign up for some one-on-one -on -one coaching with myself. The link is in the description down here. Okay, so here we are in Ableton, and this is just the sequence that I had going earlier. It's just a simple four-bar sequence that plays eighth notes. It's quite predictable, and it plays basically an arpeggio over some chord changes. I'm not going to go into that here, that's material for a next video. One thing to notice is that all of these notes are exactly the same length, right? And that's kind of what we're going to be playing with today. We're going to spice it up by adding some what seems to be variable length to the notes, even though actually we're only going to keep triggering it the same way as here. So let's look at the synthesizer. First of all, I just had an operator on there because I like just the default sound of operator as a way to start choosing notes. Instead, today we're going to work with wavetable. So I'll drag in wavetable. And this is what you see, right? Now, I'm not going to explain the whole synthesizer, but what I basically want to do with you today is I just want to set up the simplest subtractive patch, and then we're going to tweak the envelope, okay? So the simplest subtractive patch to me would be we move to a sawtooth wave. We set the sustain of the amplifier completely full, so it's just going to play the notes the whole time. I'm going to bring down the filter so that now instead of this bright uh, sawtooth wave, we're going to get like a, a filtered or dark sawtooth wave. And then we're going to set envelope number two to modulate the filter cutoff so that every time we hit the note, it's going to go bow and not, not just going to stay dark. So to do that, we go to envelope number two, bring the sustain all the way down. So it's kind of like a pluck. We go to the matrix and filter one frequency envelope two. That's, we set that up to, let's, let's put it at 50 to start with. Now when I hit play, let's see what happens. So cool, so that's just a sawtooth wave with a filter on it, right? Now, here's where the fun starts. We go to envelope number two and we activate something called loop mode here. Not all synthesizers can do this. Like I, I checked a few of even like the, the pro VSTs and some of them don't have this function. So good job Ableton for including this. Um, set it to loop. And what you're going to see now is that as long as we hold down the notes, this envelope is going to trigger from start to finish and then start again. So one thing we want to do is we want to set the release down to zero. And now you're going to see the entire envelope is going to take about 800 milliseconds to complete and then start again. And so what we're going to do is we're going to tweak this delay parameter and see what happens. Now that's cool, right? That sounds kind of like when you add a delay effect 
to a sound, but it really is fun because it in- increases a sort of a, a snappy intensity to the sound and then kind of a relaxation and there's some real emotional dynamics in there. So from here, we can go sound designing and add quite a lot of like detail and nuance to this sound. But one thing I want to advise is to group it and open up these macros here and then map this to a macro. What does this do? Well, this just puts this value over there, right? But the interesting thing is that here you can set, when you hit map, you can set what the minimum and maximum is of this button. Here you can narrow it down to just the sweet spot where you can say, mm, here are the values that give me the best emotional result. For instance, when we hit map, 20 seconds is probably way too long. Let's say that two seconds would probably be considered a long envelope, especially because we're only talking about one eighth notes, right? It's really short notes. So we set it to about two seconds and one millisecond is way too short. I mean, once you reduce it to that amount, it's going to start giving like audio garbage. So we we'll probably increase it to, let's say about 60 milliseconds. And now let's see down here, this button, if we tweak it now, it has a very satisfying range of parameters and it doesn't go from ridiculously short to ridiculously long. It just goes close to what I would think is a sweet spot. Let me see how that sounds. Yeah, perfect. This is really good. Now this I could map to a MIDI controller and have fun messing around with. Or in fact, what I probably would do here, if I didn't want to move into the hardware like physical area, I would just show modulation in a new lane open it up a little bit and start drawing in some values. So let's say we start this up high, so it's like long notes, and then bring it in for like some of the, some of the extra notes. There you go, you see? Already we're adding some kind of like organic nuance to the sound just because of this. Now to make this sound more interesting, there's a lot of things we can do and we get into really like sound design territory. But with Wavetable, a few things I would advise is don't be afraid of checking out all the different basic shapes. Don't be afraid of making the interface way larger so you can, so you can see all the details of oscillator one, oscillator two. And also an important thing with all of Ableton's internal synthesizers is that they don't have reverb and delay inside of them. And a lot of the external, like the, the more expensive virtual instruments, the VSTs, they do have that built in so they're automatically gonna sound better. So don't hesitate to just drop a delay on there and maybe also a reverb. automatically going to sweeten the sound. So as you can see, you can go down the sound design rabbit hole pretty quickly here. And so after a little bit of messing around, I got to the following. Then I add in some chords. Just a pad in the bass. confusing for you, check out our introduction to subtractive synthesis video for sure. It goes into the basic concepts that you need to understand to understand what's going on here. Otherwise, check out some of my other videos. Stay producing, be good to one another, and take care. Bye-bye.